Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome to another video. Today, uh, well, my mom gifted me all of her jewelry making materials that she had bought because she bought a bunch of stuff hoping that she could develop the interest, I guess, to make jewelry. And um, her interest lies more in making home decor. So lucky me, uh, she boxed up all of her materials she had bought and gave them to me so I wanted to look at them together all right and she gave me these there's you can't see the whole thing but you know nice containers let me open it up and go through it all right so the first thing I see here is these metal beads, size 4 millimeter and 6 millimeter. Those come in handy for sure. And I see here where she has busted open a strand of 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter fire polish. And I see right here. The same one, uh, another strand of the same color. Look at that sparkle. Love it. All right, I think I'm gonna move the box. That way it's not distracting. And we'll lay everything out. So that's a nice strand to fire polish, along with part of one. And then we got the metal beads. All right. Um, here's some strand, uh, designs by me, and they're glass, crackled, beat, crackled glass with bead caps. It looks like, I don't know, 12 millimeter and 6 millimeter maybe, or 10 millimeter. And here's part of another strand. She must have used some. A strand of 4mm Preciosa Bicones. Just a clear crystal. Look how sparkly. Alright, now I see. It says 12 inch. Cat's eye, eight millimeter black. It's supposed to be cat's eye, but I don't see anything that would make them look like that. Do you? But you know, just plain eight millimeter black beads are nice to have. Oh, can you hear the storm? Cat's eye, six millimeter. Same thing. I do not see any chatoyancy at all. Good to have them. Let's see. Now we have a strand of 4mm fire polish. Oops, I about dropped the box. And that junk coil color. Junk coil A B. All right, and then I've got here. Um, looks like four millimeter, and it says, oh, it's three millimeter Labrador in color. Nice. They look like drugs. They're made in a check, so they are drugs. Awesome. And I know I saw another partial strand of those somewhere. And then we've got some, looks like two by three millimeter crystal Chinese crystal, maybe. A Hildy and Joe. I know these probably came from Joanne's. Love the sparkle. Um, 
she, we were together when she got some of these. I love these. I've used these um, in some uh, bead embroidery projects. So they got that real sparkle. Gorgeous. It says Aqua Hematite AB. And <clears throat> now here <clears throat> is some cat's eye. I don't know if you can see that. You know, you can really tell these are cat's eye. And what's the tag say? <clears throat> Four millimeter cat's eye blue. Let's see. All right. And here's some more cat's eye. The gray. It's a pretty color. Oh, it's purple. Yeah, I like that purplish gray color. Love those. As I was saying, we were together um, when she bought some of these. Because I bought the same when they had the pack of tans going out of sale business. Or going out of business sale. And these ended up being like a quarter strand. And these are check pearls. Um, four and eight millimeter. Made in the Czech Republic. Let's see. Um, I see four strands. Of those. Oh, no, here's another one. Now, I'm happy to get these because I used all of mine. I bought a bunch of strands at the same time. And I, um, I pretty well, pretty much used all of them, especially the four millimeter. All right, now what's these? Black Cat's Eye 2.8 by 7 millimeter strung glass beads. Those are kind of like those, oh, almost like a saucer um, uh, shape, which is cool. I like that. What else you got? Now here's some more check pearls. Um, she's got a lot of strands of these as well. I know these were bought in, uh, at the same sale. It says Hawaii Pearl Mint Rose 8mm check glass beads and those are kind of like when you see the shape they're kind of I don't know swirly and they've got a cool shape to them and there's quite a few strands of these these were I th ended up being like I think it was it ended up like even less than a quarter of a strand and that's, you know, for check pearls or beads. Look at that. That just looks like um, strawberries and cream. Love it. Okay, then we've got these here. Oh, there's more of those. And look at these. These are cat's eye moss. The color's moss, and they're six millimeter, and those are awesome. And you see the chatoyancy there really well. Love those. Yeah, these are four, and these are six. Okay. Now what do we have? We have these. Strong glass beads, emerald. That's all it says. They look like the Chinese crystal. With the little rondelles in between. Like 3x6 or 4x6 millimeter rondel. These are pretty. Next. Let's see. 
Here's some more bike heads. Tiny. Looks like three millimeter and six millimeter. Third check. Preciosa. Three millimeter. Crystal blue zircon A B. It doesn't say six millimeter. It says three millimeter. But we know better. We know those are six. They're so pretty. The color is gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty. All right. There's some more of those purple pearls. Mm. Now here is some Daris. This lovely color of like a group. These are glass pearls. Um, I think they're six millimeter. And that pretty, I love that color of green. It's a really muted, like a grayish green. Love it. Love it. There's probably more of that color in here. Yes. There's more. There's a lot more. She must have really liked that color, which I do too. And then here's some glass pearls. Excuse me, I don't see the color. Oh, mocha. Dark mocha. Shoot, these ended up being so cheap at that sale. Now, here's some pink for a millimeter. They look like white, but they're probably a very faint pink. And here's some glass pearls and a purple. Here's a dark mocha and a larger, an eight millimeter. And look at this color red, um, or orange, orangey red. Thought that was pretty. Right. There's a, just a little bit difference between the sizes here. Let's see if they're the same color. Burn orange and burn orange, yeah. And then we got some pretty reds. Six millimeter. Lots of pearls, huh? I can always use pearls. Here's the um, jewel purple, six millimeter. Here's just a regular, like a violet purple. And here is some more of that green. All right, so let me put these back in the container, get the next thing and come back. All right, next we have this, and it's a container as well. It's a nice, you know, nice container for like strands, because they're long. Or you could change it, you've got the little dividers. So let me open it up, see what we got. All right, right off the bat, I see some pretty Swarovski crystal beads. They look like rond crystal AB rondelles. Look how pretty those are. And there's three in a pack. And then we've got some crystallized Swarovski elements, which are bicones. They look like maybe four millimeter. <clears throat> Bicone mix blue. That's all it says. Pretty, pretty. And then we have. What do we have? Alright, we've got some. It looks like acrylic beads, but they are so pretty. You couldn't even tell it, really. These are drops and rondelles. And these are um, barrels. And 
Looks like rondelles, yeah. Seventy beads by Hildy and Joe. And I know these came from Joann's as well. Alright, let me see what we have. We have um, some little charms. Let me put photos in. We've got some large bracelet memory wire. Oh, we've got some nice 150 2 inch head pins. Wow, those are. Oh, I see. No. They're 2 inch, 1 and 1 and a half inch. That's perfect. Perfect. Um, eye pins. It says head pins, but they're eye pins. Alright, and then we also have some Hildy and Joe stainless steel leverback ear wires. Very nice. Love they Those are my favorite ear wires right there. And we have uh, Easy Eye Needles. Extra fine beading needles and beading needles. Um, 10, 11, and 12s. Perfect. I actually needed some beading needles, so that worked out perfectly. Alright, now we have some mixes. That's a pretty mix. Let's see if I can maybe open it. It's taped up pretty well. We just have some of those, um, oh, what are those beads called? I totally forget. But, um, like, Je Jesse James is kind of famous for that style. Look at that one. That one's pretty. It's just a cute little mix there. I wonder if Jesse James... No, their name's not on those. Alright, and then we have this mix. It looks like a chalk paint. Look at that, that's cool. The little roses. Let's get some cool little. Oh, is that a barrel? Look at that one. It's like a barrel. And that big focal there. Nice. <clears throat> I like making the purse charms, chunky purse charms with these. Alright, and here's, I should put this in the other one. Here's some of the green cat's eye. Looks like she's, you know, I don't know, just practice kind of using the, her eye pins. Love that color. What do we have here? Oh, I see. Alright, so we have a Snowflake Charm Tierra Cast. That's pretty. It's nice and heavy. I love Tierra Cast. And then we have some individual Super Duos. Crystal Bronze Copper. Let's see how many. Seven and a half grams. <clears throat> Turquoise green. Mm -hmm. Two of those little thingies. Um, a broken strand of fire polish. Here's some more of the super duos and the chalk. And we're like a California gold rush. And then we have the Aztec Gold, of course. My favorite gold. And then we have Olive Golden Rainbow. It's pretty.
I have a lobster clasp, a big one. Go good with the purse charm. Got some little earring wires. Oh, here's this other strand of those drugs. That, and let's put these bags here in the last box. We've got a strand of connectors. I've seen those at Walmart, I think. Those are cool. Alright, we have some chain. 90 inches of chain. Looks like hematite. Good metal. Okay, so that's what's in this box, and I'll be back. Alright, here's another container. Ozark Trail, another big container, perfect for strands or whatever else you want to um, use it for. You know, of course, it's got the dividers you can move. All right, so let's see here. We've got some more Swarovski crystal. It's butterflies. See, two pretty little butterflies. Um, we got some more memory wire, beetle on. Mm, there's like tons of head pins and eye pins. Some came out of the package, um, but here's what I can pull out. And here's some ear wire. She couldn't quite figure out how to use the way she wanted to. And <coughs> head pins. Jump rings. 7 millimeter. It's good size. And 10 millimeter. Um, got some uh, wax thread these wax oh, let's see what are these looks like them cat's eye beads doesn't it well I mean that ones that didn't look like cat's eye beads it's a bigger size oh yep cat's eye eight millimeter <clears throat> more head pens two inch there's some pretty hematite cubes Oops. Now, there's a bunch of, well, quite a few baggies of these seed beads. And, yeah, those are, I think they're the Dari's. Uh, these are Tenno's. And they're not quite uniform for bead weaving, but for stringing or other projects, they work just fine. Alright, so we've got... Amethyst there. Let's see, we've got spacer bars, 24 piece. Uh, there's some small two hole, three hole, and four holes. Those are convenient to have. Or, you know, I'll use those. There's a little skein of beading thread and a pinch. You never know when I might need it. Round pearl, eight, eight millimeter. Some more of those seed beads. Some a little bigger. Just a few, four Swarovski bike guns. There's some four millimeter crystal bike guns. Seed beads. Okay, here's some of those um, double, it says double clip connector. They're like the clamshell connectors. 
I have I have some in gold, so it's nice to have silver. Here's some crystal rondelle. A strand that she's you know broken up. Here's some more of those cat's eye black. I'll put those in with the others. Here's some buccal beads. Here's some more seed beads. Oh, yeah, those are pretty. Drops, some like briolette. Some um, pear dough in color. And here's some buccal beads. Say what size? Oh. All right, so that's that. There's some pearls. That's that for this box, I think. I mean, I've got some few baggies of pearls here. I'm going to stick in the other box. But all right, so um, I will get the other stuff and uh, be back. Okay. I've got um, let's see, I've got a few tubes of seed beads here to go through. So these look like six O's. Um, glass seed beads. 20 grams. Yeah, they look like six O's. I don't even think it says. Yeah, 6 0, definitely. So there's some inside color seed beads. Alright. Oh no, there's a bunch of jump rings and wire guardians in the bottom of the bag that came out of the package. Um, so we won't look at those. Alright, here's um, 11 0. Uh, looks like an antique gold. Some 15 0. Silver inside lined, or whatever. These look like 8 0's. The silver lined. 6 0. E beads. There's that antique uh, gold six O's. Fifteen O black. That's nice to have. And here's the um, eleven O matches the six O's. I've got um, different. I think I've got the eight O's. That's like a purple iris. These are six, six O's. Yeah, six O's. I'm not sure what color. All right, and like I said, there's jump rings and air guardians that I'm gonna have to go through and put in this. Just give me this. This is another. It's a double-sided container. Um, a little tip. If you go to the jewelry making supplies and buy containers, they're probably at least double the price and that they are when you go over to like um, hunting and fishing and um, I'm not sure what that section's called, but um, if you don't buy the the um, storage containers in the in the craft area or jewelry making area, they're a lot cheaper. So we've got this double-sided container which is cool I'll just um, take all the ear wires and things and jump rings and all that 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 are in the packages and I'll just put them in here that side and then flip it over and we've got some bead caps So that's a nice little container. 
all right and then we have this and this is like a starter box it's got like all the seed beads it's got a ruler on each side um, I think that's kind of a looming thing here but um, these are cute little silver and the top slides off these are some leaf some metal leaf beads those are cool I'll put those in that little this other container I'm not sure what these are they're like some kind of adhesive I don't know I'm not sure I'll have to see if she knows but um, this thing like this maybe I'll take all the other seed beads and stuff box them up and give them to my granddaughter Alright, now, let's see what else we have in this box. I know there was some fire line. We've got more head pins. Two inch. Two inch head pins. Two inch head pins. This is great to have. I go through these. There's ear wires. More ear wires I can put in that container. Um, I've got a couple packages of these acrylic beads. Uh, Topaz Mix. Look at that big bag of seed beads, Tenno seed beads. at this. I've never seen these. Ten O's. Uh, value pack. That's a lot of seed beads. It doesn't, I don't see the color. It's hard to see. It's like black and orange maybe. Be good for Halloween decoration. Or something like that. Here's the fire line. 50 yards of smoke fire line. Here's another little thing of thread. And here's some more packages of seed beads. These are 6 O's, all different color of transparents. And here's color lined purple 6 O glass seed beads. Here's some more jump rings, six millimeter jump rings. Um, here's one of them books. They have these for sale for really cheap at Pat Catan's during their closing. They're going out of business sale. Here's a little bead scoop. Well, my little bead scoop now. Um, here's some bike cans, four millimeter bike cans. And clear crystal and green. Of course, I think those look like rondelles. Let's see. A bunch of baggies. Um, here's some more of those. Black cat's eye and small, smaller size. That almost looks like a three millimeter down here. Um, pearls. Um, she's got a few like old necklaces with components she threw in the box, like that component. And then of course the rings. Here are the bigger rings. Those are nice. So I'll take that apart. Okay. Anything else? There's a uh, spool of wire. And there's beads like in the bottom of the bag, right? But I think that is, oh well, no. There's two more containers here, but they are, um, well, let's see if I can squeeze it in without having to 
do another video clip. Here's some black cubes, some of those black cat's eye, some long bugles. Look how long those bugles are. Um, oh, some little rice beads. Uh, oh, there's some of those leaf beads down here. And some tube beads. Okay, so there's another container. And one more. It, this one's just like the last one, but it's pink. And it's got some of those bigger rice. I hope I got a hair. Some of the bigger rice beads. These look like bone beads. Um, cat's eye. Odds and ends. There's some more the cats, bigger cat's eye. The green and black. Look how big those holes are. And the green ones. I can almost use that on leather cording. Uh, crimp beads. So here's some black crimp beads. That's cool. Okay, this is stretchy. This is more crimp beads. But um, this I want to show you this. Sorry, I didn't mean to kick the, or hit the camera. This is um, elastic thread. Isn't that cool? That's cool. All right, so I think I got everything. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video.